appreciation this week. Or, I'm sorry, next week. And the kids, um, each day, you have to bring a different thing. Owen's oh, school, uh, the room mom, or the lady who takes care of everything, she has, like, certain days you bring in certain things. But for Jackie's preschool, um, you can bring in whatever you want. So I went on Pinterest, and I got all these great ideas. So the first one we have today is... So I just took Skittles, and this is one good thing about extreme couponing, or like these are cauldron ones obviously from Halloween, and this is from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So they're slightly older, but they're Skittles, they last forever. I just separated them. Um, if you want a video about extreme couponing, you can get candy and everything for almost nothing. And so just comment down below if you'd like an extreme couponing video, and I'll show you how to do that. So I just took out all the ye yellows, and then we'll use this for some other thing. Either we'll color code them for another project, or I'll just put them in a in container and take out the air so they're, they're good. Um, and then there are these. So I just got these at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, AC Moore. They have them if you go in the glass section. This little thing. So it's a little light bulb, it screws right off. A lot of people make little terrariums out of them. They became stylish about a year or two ago. I had brought like 20 some of them for a specific project and then didn't use them. So I have a lot of them. So this is, I was like, oh, I have this at home. I'm gonna use this. And then I just have these little labels. Now I'm gonna cut out a different little, because this is rather small and I have very bad handwriting. So I'm gonna get Megan to help me with the labels because she has uh, calligraphy handwriting but it's a good little to put it on and make the label. And I'll show you um, our little label. So any craft supply store has these, they're just giant sheets of all different colors or they have individual ones if you're not a big crafter, you don't think you'll be doing a lot of these. I have this, this is a cutter, it cuts in circles. This is a board just so I don't rip whatever I'm cutting it off of. This is the Martha Stewart one. You can also get the punches that are just this large. But what I can do with this is do one big circle with fun background and then make it a little smaller and do it white. And then you can write in the label of the in the middle of the circle and then the white and then you still have a cute little label. So I'm gonna flip through here and try to find something that I think Miss Malia will like. All right, so I got my bigger cutting board because this was gonna be quite large. And now I'm just gonna cut this out. I have white paper, I'll cut that out slightly smaller. So this is five, I'll bring it down to four. I'll cut it out slightly smaller. And then, uh, actually I'm gonna do five and a half. So this is, a, this is cause this is a cute pattern and I want that to show. Here we go. of the big bags of Skittles and about half of one because Jackie had already gotten into this did filled two and a quarter I forgot Miss Winchester um, is a teacher assistant in Owen's school so I wanted to you know teacher assistants always get forgotten and I don't want to I want to give her something so we had orange uh, it's light she'll get it and she <laughs> it's a light bulb she's very understanding she's a kindergarten teacher she'll she'll get it <laughs> Um, and then I still have a whole bunch left over. You can use these for other holidays. The reason I like to get, you can do this with M&Ms, um, but you want to do them fresh with M&Ms. Chocolate over time, if you are keeping it for long periods of time, turns white, gets like a white film over it. And that's the oxygen hitting the chemicals in the chocolate and turning it white. Skittles don't. Um, and they actually last in the in the package or in another alternative package for a long period of time. Um, if it's like over a year or year and a half, two years, they can, and their moisture gets in here, they could start sticking together. But that's why I get sugar versus chocolate when I extreme coupon. I mean, hello, I get, I get some. Like, right, I got Christmas candy up here hidden, Sour Patch things from Easter. I got all sorts of stuff up in here, but sugar related stays longer than chocolate related. 
So Megan and I'll make these. So another thing that I did is I just did an outline of Jackie's hands. I put your hands down, the best teacher. And then I just took um, some soap that I had. Um, you can also coupon um, hand soap and all sorts of soap. And then I just tied, okay, I could have made this fancier, but I just, I have a hundred of these little labels and I just taped it on the back of this so it's stuck there just fine. This was a little extra, so I'll cut that off. I have these little back bo uh, bath bombs. They have cute little polka dots on them. And now we have the thing. Most likely because it's so large, tape it to the back. And then I'll just give it to her like that. You're the bomb. Bath bombs. Isn't that cute? So when we went to Florida, we um, picked up some oranges while we were there. The other day, uh, the store was having sale on lemons and limes. I got a huge thing of oranges. I gave some to Megan and I gave some to mom and dad. And um, when we went every Sunday night, I work brunch shift in the morning and then I get off, I pick up the kids, and I go to mom and dad's. Mom has dinner ready, so I don't have to cook because I've been working all day. Mom and dad get to see the kids, the kids get to see them. And then Kevin has time to, time to either work on the bus, do projects, or just have time to himself, which we all need. So, mom, I asked her, she always has unsweet iced tea, her and Megan, that's like their thing. And I said, oh, I was filling up, getting uh, dinner ready, and I was filling up their cups, and she said, oh, no, no, I made something special with the oranges you gave me. So she made lemonade, limeade, orange aid, and it was amazing. So I'm, I'm craving it again. It's Monday and I'm craving it. So all you have to do, we have four oranges left from our, I've given some to Meg, given some to mom, and then I have some. Uh, I had three lemons and I'm gonna try three limes. I really like lime, that's my jam. So we'll see. It's a juice mate from like the 1950s, 1940s. I don't know if it was, we got it at a thrift store or it was his grandparents. I forget which one. Just squeezing it all out. A lot more orangey than lemon or lime. And it's all about your preference, so if you want to do more lemon, and also depending on what kind of sugars that you like to add, and how you want to add those. If you have chickens, you can feed them the peels, they like pecking at them, citrus is good, they're getting their vitamins. I highly recommend if you have um, any cuts or what have you, don't, uh, don't be doing this. Just let it hang out, it's a killer. So, four oranges, three limes, three lemons. Made about this much. I'm gonna fill the rest up with water. I'm gonna leave a little bit on top because I'm gonna add sugars to it. Most likely, depending on my taste this and see how it is first. All right. I wanna clean that out. Mama, I wanted some Should lemon. I wanted lemon. Shush, Jackie. Use my Ninjago cup. Mmm, it's good but really sour. So we're going to add some sugar. So I'm a genius. So I had this and I was like, I need to add more sugar. But I had just made... Your light on over here. A simple syrup for my bees, which is just sugar and water. And you heat up the sugar, or you heat up the water, and then you put the sugar in until it doesn't dissolve anymore. So it's like a syrup, and you feed it to your bees in the springtime to get them going. Well, I made way too much, because like this is good for a long time. And then I have all this. So I'm gonna add some of my simple syrup to this. Just keep adding the simple syrup and to, and to keep tasting it until it gets to what you like, and then just put it over ice and it's an orange lemon limeade and it's amazing for summertime.